Hello. Hopefully everyone had a great Christmas. As I promised on Christmas, I said that this week I would post an update video just to let you know what's happened since obviously we've only posted one video in the past like two and a half months. So I'm going to make this video just to kind of update you on what happened, like why I haven't posted, um, what I'm doing going forward both with the channel as well as with myself, like back to solo travel, etc. And just to fill you in on life. So obviously you can see by the title of this video, Carlos and I broke up. Um, yes. So we broke up now. It's honestly, it's been almost three months. So I guess that's why I seem better now as opposed to like three months ago when it first happened. I really can't give a good reason about why we broke up. Um, we just started to fight a lot about just like the littlest things, just bickering all the time, but it just became so constant. We were together for over two and a half years traveling or living abroad the entire time. So together literally 24 seven in a bunch of stressful traveling situations. It just kind of like can wear on you, I guess. Um, yeah, so honestly, if you want a good reason as to why we broke up, like there isn't one. Um, we don't, I, I hope to think we don't have any like bad feelings toward each other. Like he was my best friend for so long, like the only person I was with all the time. So we do still talk sometimes, but we're not getting back together. I do after us being apart a couple months now. Um, I do think it's better that we did break up, but I mean, yeah, it still sucks, but yes. So after we left Southeast Asia, obviously we were living in Thailand, then we went traveling, then we went to visit his family and then my family. And then we got down to Mexico and we were planning on doing six months from Mexico down through Central and South America, since we were on that side of the world, and then get back to Southeast Asia. Like both of us the entire time, we kept saying how much we miss living in Bangkok and like our life in Thailand, like we, we loved living in Bangkok so much. So even before we broke up, we were both talking about how we really wanted to get back there. And then we broke up in Mexico City, um, like two and a half weeks into our like six month kind of trip we were planning. So Carla stayed in the city. I flew to this little beach town called Sayulita, which is a little like surfer beach town tourist place. And my plan was to go there for a couple weeks until I felt better, like after the breakup, and then to keep traveling all of Central South America. And then I just stayed there for two months. And it was honestly, I think like the best thing I could have done. Like I met so many amazing people. I would like start every day doing yoga and then go surf. And then I met a girl who was also alone at our favorite taco stand. And she invited me to Muay Thai classes with her. So obviously after living in Thailand a year and a half, Carlos and I said the whole time, we really wanted to try Muay Thai. We never did. I ended up taking Muay Thai classes in Sayulita with this girl I met. Hi, Julia. Um, <laughs> so we ended up doing Muay Thai and Jiu Jitsu and everything. It was so fun. I would go there like four or five times a week. So yeah, honestly, I think it was the best place ever to go through a breakup because there's so much to do between like surfing, yoga, the gym, meeting people, salsa classes, like there's always something and the, just the beach is right there. So I, yeah, I loved it. Um, and then also when I was there, I kind of realized that I'm doing all this stuff to work on like my physical health. Like I've always loved going to the gym, but I haven't really done anything to work on my mental health, which especially after we broke up, like I, I've been so unmotivated to do YouTube Obviously, I don't even really want to travel and traveling is like the only thing I've ever wanted to do. 
so yeah i've just been like really kind of lost so i told myself i will let myself take a break in mexico not worry about videos and just kind of like get back to normal so i figured like that youtube break would be the perfect time to start also working on my mental health and i signed up for my first ever therapy session with BetterHelp, who is the sponsor of this video so thank you BetterHelp for sponsoring this video and also for making therapy so easy and convenient. So I was able to sign up and get started directly on my phone without having to worry about scheduling times or having to physically get to an office, which is obviously hard when you're always like moving around. And it's also a lot more comfortable because you can choose between doing video sessions, phone calls, or even just messaging your therapist. So if you don't feel comfortable like in person, physically sitting in front of a stranger in an office, it's really convenient to just do it through your phone. So when you first sign up for BetterHelp, you fill out a questionnaire and then they use your answers to match you to a licensed therapist. And they actually have over 30,000 licensed therapists. So there's lots of options to match you with. And if for some reason you don't like who you're matched with, there's a button on the app and you can just click the button and change who your therapist is and then new therapist on your phone. So I'm super happy that I finally tried therapy. Um, you know, I've heard a lot about it, but just never actually did it. But with how convenient BetterHelp is, it was so easy to try. And I do feel like that's helping me a lot as well, just to kind of figure out everything I have going on right now um, and what I want to do in my future. So if you're also going through a lot right now or you just want to talk to someone about life, consider trying therapy with today's sponsor, BetterHelp. You can click the link down below or go to betterhelp.com slash Natalie Hoffman for 10% off your first month. And honestly, I wish I did it sooner I'm gonna keep doing it to continue just improving myself. Um, but yeah, so that is today's video sponsor. And that is something that I have been doing during my YouTube break in Mexico. And yeah, I mean that combined with all the gym and everything, I, I mean, it has been a hard couple months like getting over the breakup, but I am really 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 happy with what i've done and i think everything i've done has helped a lot so that brings us to <laughs> moving forward now what's gonna happen um so yeah youtube is so much work it is literally like a full-time job i had to work so hard all the time to do my normal job and then do that after and then every weekend travel and it was a lot um so yeah i'm kind of deciding now what to do i still have about five videos filmed with carlos in mexico that i wanted to edit especially because my best friend also came and joined us in mexico city for a couple days so there's a lot of really fun videos that I do want to edit, but when we broke up, I tried to do that and it was just like not good. Just like going through a breakup and then sitting there on your laptop and watching hours of videos of the two of you like happy together. So yeah, um, I didn't do any of those. I might still try and do a couple. So if you see future videos and Carlos is in them, I promise they are old videos we're not planning on getting back together. Um, so maybe I'll do that, maybe not. But yeah, so since we broke up, after my time in Mexico, I came home to my parents' house to surprise them. Well, I didn't surprise them. I came home for Christmas. My one sister came home for Christmas and our other sister surprised them. So we planned this whole thing. It was the first time my whole family was together in like eight years, which was amazing. We had a really good Christmas. And when I was home, I started looking at flights then to get back to Thailand. Because honestly, like I miss my friends in Bangkok. Um, Bangkok still kind of feels like home after it's the last place I've lived for a while. So yeah, I really want to go back to Bangkok. 
but I started looking up flights and flights to Thailand were really expensive in like early January. And then I found a cheap flight uh, to India. <laughs> so there was a really cheap direct flight from New York to New Delhi. Um, I ended up booking that and I signed up for a month long yoga teacher training in the north of India. So that is my next plan of I will be doing that by myself. Um, yeah, so starting 2024, I'll be flying into India and doing yoga for a month. Obviously, I'm not going to be traveling, so I can't really do videos, but I'm hoping um, that during the month of yoga, I will kind of figure out what I want to do moving forward. I'm planning maybe then on traveling India like a month or so after the course ends. So yeah, I mean, stay tuned and you'll see what ends up happening because I also don't know what's going to happen. But I'm really, really, really excited to start the new year just like up in the mountains at like a healthy yoga month. Yeah. So that's what I booked for myself. And then flights from India to Thailand are super cheap. So that's kind of what I'm planning on doing after the month in India, then getting back to Thailand. Um, all my friends in Thailand, they already know. So yeah, that's kind of the plan. We'll have to see what plays out though, because I don't have set dates or anything. Um, as for YouTube, I do want to get back into doing videos. Like even my mom was saying when I'm home for Christmas, like she misses all my videos and all of my travels, what I'm doing. So I'm hoping to do that again. Um, Carlos and I talked about it and he's not continuing with anything YouTube, social media related. So I will be changing all of the accounts to my name. I haven't exactly decided what, I guess as soon as I post this video, like a day or two later, I'll probably change them. Um, maybe back to just like Natalie Hoffman travel. That's what it was before I changed it to me and Carlos. So maybe back to that. Um, the same, yeah, I'm still kind of figuring that out. But yeah, I mean, I guess that's the recap of this update video. Carlos and I aren't together anymore. Hopefully I will continue traveling because I don't know what else I would do. Like the only, the only thing I've ever done since I was 20 is like travel. So I should get back into traveling with a mix of yoga and working out and online therapy in the middle. And hopefully 2024 will be the most amazing year ever. So I should be back in Southeast Asia in a couple months, back to Thailand. There's a million more places I want to go in Indonesia, like more of Sulawesi, Raja Ampat. Um, but yeah, so I mean, Malaysia, the Philippines, Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, Taiwan, like there's so many places I still want to go. So hopefully that will happen. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I'll have more videos for you soon. If you have any other questions that I didn't answer, comment them below. I should be back to all of the comments, but love you guys. Bye.